So I think what we are trying to develop is the, plat the database on the platform, including as much information as possible, but more importantly, including the traditional knowledge, including the data that we're going to generate to testing, and the complete identity of the plant, so that when somebody wants to access uh, that information, first of all, they need to pay, they need to be able to negotiate with the institution of the country or whatever it is, so as to be able to access. And this, of course, through blockchain, you can have, uh, has been mentioned time and time again this morning, the notion of trust, and of course, the notion of partnership will also come on uh, in, in this particular issue. Next one, please. So this prototype, we are doing it in collaboration with colleagues at the MIT. And uh, it's already, there is one prototype that has been run out of Cameroon for crops. And this morning somebody mentioned bananas. They have also done it with vegetables. Develop the blockchain so that the people can access uh, to know where the, there is availability for the crops and they could access uh, the, the thing. And of course, the, the farmers got an increase uh, in boost in, the, in terms of revenue. So we are using more or less the same model to apply it for this particular project. And of course, then we will leverage this in other partnering countries. And as I said, in the third phase, the issue will be to pro to use this uh, with the World Intellectual Property Organization so that we can have access globally towards and lead towards the protection of traditional knowledge. And the World Intellectual Property Organization is now currently looking at the strategy paper that we are producing. And hopefully by next month, we will be able to get the strategy paper from the WIPO. And then by July, the project will be kickstart in Mauritius. And we hope this will be a game changer in a continent that has so much to offer and has lost so much, mainly because every time an elderly dies on the continent, it's a library that is burned down because that information has never been stored, has never been safeguarded, and this is precisely where we want to make a difference. Thank you very much.